I have four balls of t-shirt yarn that I made. I don't know if I'm going to need all of it, but I guess we'll find out. Um, if you want to see how I made these, you can check out my most recent video. I'll put a um, link up here. And then I also have these balls of acrylic yarn. Um, and these are one euro each. And I really like working with this yarn, actually. It's like I find the colors um, fun and like a good combination. And it's also just nice to work with. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, ooh, 12 millimeter needles. So here I am casting on. I held the t-shirt yarn and acrylic at the same time and knit that way. Um, it's actually a technique that I'm starting to really enjoy. I did the same thing for the hoodie scarf and I like the fact that you can combine two textures and two colors or sets of colors um, and they combine in sort of interesting and unexpected ways. So it kind of um, adds this like element of surprise, I think, as you're knitting, which is really fun. Anyway, so I um, cast it on 25 stitches. I didn't knit a gauge swatch or anything. I just eyeballed it, um, which was maybe a mistake because it ended up being a bit too small, I think. But anyway, it doesn't matter. More on that later. Um, and then I just knit every single stitch. So it's garter stitch. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with that because, you know, it's not really so interesting. And we will just jump ahead a bit. This is how it's looking so far. I think I will need to use all four balls of yarn. I'm almost finished my third ball so I'll add the orange t-shirt yarn next and I really like how these colors are looking I think they look really lovely together um, so yeah I'll just keep knitting and I'll show you um, how the orange looks in a bit
actually just love the way this has turned out. I love the colors. I love the different combinations of colors. Um, and it also feels really nice. It's really thick, as you can probably imagine, because there's so much t-shirt in there. So as a rug, like I think it actually works really, really well because it's really thick, it's really cushiony, it's very comfortable. Um, so let's see how it looks in the toilet room. And this is how it looks in the toilet room. It's definitely brightened up the room a little bit. Um, my only issue is that it is perhaps a little bit small, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but it still functions as a mat because it's not like my feet are falling off. So yeah, it, it doesn't really affect the function of it, but I just think in this space, maybe I could have made it a little bit bigger. But I don't know. I was thinking of possibly adding some tassels to the edge um, instead, just to maybe, you know, make it a little bit bigger, fill up the space a bit more. So I still have a bunch of t-shirt material left over from when I made the t-shirt yarn. So I was just thinking of maybe adding some tassels to each end or possibly all the way around it. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'll, if I do that, I'll make another video and oh, I also wanted to tell you the dimensions. So it is 34 centimeters wide and 47 centimeters long. Um, just in case you make it, I guess, just as a reference for you. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any feedback and I'll see you next time. Bye.